everyone, I'm Jessica and this is Zoe and we're so glad that you're joining us for um, another workout. So these are designed um, not just to help moms fit in um, exercise into their days but to find something that um, mom and baby can do together and enjoy. So today we're going to be doing a 12 um, or an RFT which stands for rounds for time. We're going to be doing 12 rounds. Um, and this can be, <laughs> we got a wiggly one today. Um, this can be done as an RFT. It can be done, yeah, you say hi. Say hi, everyone. Um, it can be done as an AMRAP, which is as many rounds as possible. So if you're on a time crunch and you need to know exactly how, many, how long the workout's going to take you, you could do more like a 15 minute AMRAP and then do however many rounds you can fit into 15 minutes. Um, so these videos are not just designed to give you a workout video, they're designed to give you some tools uh, to help make workouts and exercise fit for you um, and your little one. So uh, modifications on the workout we're going to be doing today, you can always modify the number of rounds if you don't want to do 12. That's what I'm going to be doing, but you don't have to. Um, and then it's called rounds for time. Um, and the, the trying to do it in a quick pace adds a level of cardio to the workout, which is great, um, but always obviously secondary to the um, comfort and safety of your baby. So don't go too fast for your comfort level or for um, her comfort level. So uh, always keep a pace that you're comfortable with, but try and push yourself. Um, I keep a weight here. Um, you'll see, uh, I may pick that up every now and again. if. We're doing something and she's kind of like she is right now, fussing a little bit or, or squirming a little bit um, and she doesn't want to do one of the moves one round. Um, I may just uh, pick up um, pick up a dumbbell or any kind of weight. Uh, you can use even a heavy water bottle is fine. Um, also makes it so that you can do this, this workout uh, even if your baby is maybe sleeping or something like that. So it doesn't mean that you have to have a baby to do this exercise. Um, and then, uh, I will not be starting a timer, but you can always, um, I, I do time it usually, um, just to see how long 12 rounds takes me, and then uh, we do this workout, we've been doing this since Zoe was about four months old, and so we time each one to see how um, our uh, progress improves. So if we get faster, or sometimes we get slower because our weight is a little bit heavier than it was the previous round, so. Um, Anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be doing 12 rounds and you can kind of lose track while you're going through. So I always keep just um, 12 items. Um, I have a plethora of pens, so I'm using pens today. Um, so there's 12 pens here. So once I finish a round, I'll just move one over. And then once the pile is depleted, um, the workout is complete. All right, well, let's get started. You ready? So Zoe and I are going to demonstrate the moves first, and then we'll start the actual workout. So it's going to be 12 rounds for time, uh, five push-ups, 10 Russian twists, and uh, 15 sumo squats. So with push-ups, you just want to be over the baby, and basically down, up. Make sure you keep your, um, your booty straight in. Uh, your back should be straight, your neck should be straight, um, and that's what we're going to do. Pick up your little one. So Russian twists. You'll be leaning back a little ways and then just right to left. That's two. So one, two, and we're doing ten of them each time. And then we're going to stand up. We'll be doing sumo squats. So feet out a little, little bit farther than you would for a normal squat and just drop down. Try and get your legs about parallel to the ground. And that's it. All right, sweetie, you ready? <laughs> okay, let's get going. Round one. Feet one, two, three, four, five. Okay, pick up. Ready? One, two, three, four. 
if she wants to roll over because she's <laughs> learned that relatively recently and that's a new skill she wants to try, that's okay too. One, two. You can always do the push-ups either right next to baby or you can still do them over baby, just over baby's back. Huh. Nine. I'm not uh, excessively working out one side or one arm over the other when I'm squatting and not intending to. Huh. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. sure that you're keeping your back up as straight as you can. You don't want to be leaning forward or going like that. Um, so just try and keep your back as straight as you can and try and get down as low as you can to that parallel position. Sometimes I'll hold her in, 
Sometimes I'll let her look out, that kind of thing, just to see what she wants to do. So this is, uh, like I said before, supposed to get you a good workout, but it's also supposed to be something really fun that you can do with your baby. So uh, Zoe and I work out several times a week together, and it's become uh, something that I think we both really enjoy. Um, hold your feet up if you want to do a little bit more work. Woo! You hit me in the face. Um, you can also hoist your baby up a little bit higher. So, wee! Huh. Wee! Wee! Um, if, if your baby enjoys it, obviously, which Zoe typically does. Um, and if, you're, if your arm strength will hold out, which Mine not ne does not necessarily do all the time. Um, but it turns that move into not just an ab workout, but also into an arm workout too, if you're looking for a little bit extra. Huh. Not that we're not getting enough arm work toting around a 16 plus pounder all the time, huh? Yeah. Here we go, another pin. Okay, I'm over top of you. Mwah! 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 I like to call these kissing push ups for that very reason. Um, but uh, when Zoe was more like four months old and we would do these, um, <laughs> she wasn't really going anywhere. So it was a lot easier to just kiss her each time. Uh-oh! I dropped, I dropped my teeth. You want it back? Now you want to look at the moon, you want to look at the camera? Hmm? Look at our friends. Here we go. Same old squats. One, two, three, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Almost done. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Down you go. Back with the teaser. Uh, so, I mentioned it before, but all these things, you want to make sure that the safety and comfort of your baby is the most important thing. So, if ever Zoe's not enjoying something, we'll just adjust. Come here. Come 
clear. Huh. Okay, one, two. Also, if you've watched our other videos, you'll notice that we do workouts in different rooms. And the reason that we do that is because, oh, sorry, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's kind of just to showcase that you can really do these workouts anywhere. You don't need a bunch of equipment. Um, honestly, you don't need much space. So we've um, done a couple in Zoe's room. Um, this is actually my home office. I work out of the house right now. Um, and I just kind of push my desk chair aside. Um, and we do our workouts wherever there's space. Um, we've got two other kids in the house and a husband. Um, so it helps us to be able to woo, work out wherever there's room. Whew. Okay, ready, ready? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, four. Oh, back to the teether, huh? Bring it with us. Yeah, you can bring it with us. Um, so I like to go, try and go straight through if I can, um, but obviously if you ever need to stop for water, a break, anything like that, always listen to your body, make sure you're doing what's right for you. So we've got water just outside of you. If we ever needed to stop, have a little something. Ready? Squatting down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, five more. Eleven. Whoa. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay. Ready, ready? Let's try something new. Oh, the crinkle bag. Two rounds left. Good job, everybody. Okay. And down we go. Ready, though? Can you do your push-ups with me? <laughs> Maybe not. Huh? Looks like somebody is getting a little tired, huh? Maybe two somebody's. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, wee! Four, wee! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Whew. So, depending on how old your baby is, you may need to modify some stuff, kind of the way you're holding them. Make sure littler babies have more head support, that sort of thing. But, like I said, Zoe and I have been doing a lot of these workouts since she was about four months old. Um, so certainly, you can do them with a pretty young baby. Um, and then we're gonna keep continuing to do them as she gets older and bigger. And hopefully, correspondingly, uh, Mom will get stronger and be able to continue to, oh, you want to do them over? Okay. Lift Zoe as she gets bigger. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that's it. Up we go. Oh, two toys this time, huh? Two toys. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Mwah. You want to look out, face our friends for the last round? Hmm? Face everybody. Okay. One. Whew. So we are on our twelfth and final round, which I'm glad about. Hopefully you are too. Um, 
if you're not quite on your 12th round, or you're doing less, or you're doing more, that's fine. Um, we're going to stop at 12. Whew. Got it. 13, 14, 15. Mwah, yay! Whew. So right now we would be checking the time. See how long that one took us. Oh, excuse me. But since we're talking to you guys, we're going to skip that step today. Last pen over in the pile. So, whew. come here, sweetheart. Zoe and I just want to say, whew, thank you for joining us. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, hopefully you have some tips you can take away and check out our other videos. And uh, subscribe if you want to um, see new videos that we uh, keep posting. So, thanks everyone. Say bye.